I hope my shipment comes in soon. I'm going to wait here and wait for that delivery man to come. They're here. Gosh, that's okay. Oh, my isopods are here. Thank you. You're welcome. Just one second. Here's your tip. Thanks and a lot. Have a nice day. Thank you. And make sure you stick around until the end for some bloopers. The isopods just came in. I cannot wait. I can't wait to open this box. Well, there's mistake number one. When you get a package in, whether it's isopods or reptiles, you always, always want to open it right away. So we'll open this box. We're going to check out the animals. We're not, we don't have to open the container, but at least we want to open the box to make sure everything's okay. If there's any issues whatsoever, we want to contact the seller and make sure that they're aware of the situation. Even if the animals are great and they look good, we want to contact that seller anyways to reassure them that we got the animals and that they're fine and, and doing well. The isopods came in that I've been waiting for. I can't wait to open these. Oh, it's the shipment from Supreme Gecko. It's always good. Well, they look great. I'll have to go ahead and email them and tell them the shipment got here. And they look good. Okay, it's time to put them away in their enclosure. So I'm gonna have to Google this though. How to set up an isopod enclosure. Oh, this looks easy. Let's start checking this one out. The very first site, how to set up an isopod enclosure. Did you catch the mistake here? Well, it's that she hasn't done her research first. Whenever you're getting new animals, whenever you're getting new isopods, don't wait until you, they come in to do your research. You really should be doing that research days or even weeks ahead of time. So how do you do research? Go online. My best suggestion is to go to Facebook, find a group that talks specifically about the animals or the isopods that you're getting, Go online, I'm getting these animals, type it in, ask people for quite, or ask that question and, and get responses back from experts. Compare the answers and make sure that you use your, your common sense and your best judgment in deciding how to set up your enclosure. And certainly for isopods or geckos, you can check the Supreme Gecko channel and always, always, always ask me questions. Go to Facebook and ask me questions and I'll help you walk through the whole process. If you're getting isopods or geckos, make sure that you know specifically that type and look up their specific requirements. So mistake number two, not doing the research. You really want to do the research first before you get in any kind of an animal. Well, I finished my research. Facebook gave me a lot of great hints. I watched a video or two and I watched one from Supreme Gecko and it really explained how to set up an isopod. Enclosure. So I've got my container. I've got the holes in the top of the container for air and then I have substrate in here and I've got some sphagnum moss and I've got dried leaves and the wood. So now it's time to put the isopods in. Wow, this setup looks really good. The substrate's perfect with everything that I've mentioned on previous videos. She must have had some other help from Facebook. It looks just great. She has the sphagnum moss, the decaying wood, the decaying leaves, uh, some cork bark. Love it. The setup looks great. She's ready to put the uh, new isopods in. Not quite. And this isn't a mistake. This is just something that I prefer to do before the day that the isopods come in and you set up an, a new enclosure. What I like to do, and here's my suggestion, is to set up an enclosure days or even weeks before you get this new shipment in. 
Why do you want to do that? Well, setting up a new enclosure days or weeks before allows that substrate to settle in. It allows any microorganisms to establish themselves. If you can get a culture of springtails before you get the new isopods and put them in this new enclosure, so much the better. But it does look really good. Good job, Nanette, with that. Well, I hope this video helped. There were some mistakes here and some things that you could do better in getting isopods in and setting, up, setting them up the correct way. If you have any questions, hit those comments below and ask me questions about getting in new isopods or getting in new geckos. Thank you very much for watching the video. I really appreciate your support. If you like the video, hit that like button. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the notifications all. How about a hand for our actress? Nanette did just a fantastic job with this. She didn't move one muscle while we had these brief discussions. She did a great job. Until now. I'm going to wait here and wait for that delivery man to come. Okay, ring the doorbell. Yes! They're here! Looking good! Nope, we're gonna have to redo it. Why? What did I do? You, you're not, you can't open the container. Oh. Remember what I said about not opening it? No, I don't. Yeah, that's, that's all right, that's all right. Those are tape. Just one second. Here's your tip. Thanks and a lot. Have a nice day. Thank you. Hey, Crystal. Yeah. You can't keep that money. I can. <laughs> yeah. Isoplan fans. Hey. Isoplan fans. Don't trust him because he's the naughty one. And he's not going to keep the tip. And I am going to. Can I trade you that $5 for a $1 bill? Uh, no. Okay. Thank you, Crystal. Can I keep this? Can yes. You can keep it. <laughs> Cut.